lights out and away we go. The Formula One series is a motorsports premier racing event. Having started as a sport for the elite in 1950, participation in the sport remains a privilege for the wealthy few. Though the audience is now global and attracts around 1 million viewers per race being hosted on tracks in over 32 countries. Arguably its most famous ambassador is also the first person of color to have won the drivers' championship, Sir Lewis Hamilton. On 7th January 1985, Anthony Hamilton and his wife Carmen would welcome their son Lewis to the world. Cars like these are getting ready to compete in the World Championships. Somebody who's preparing for those very same championships is Lewis Hamilton, who's only seven years old. So how long have you been racing cars for already, Lewis? About a year. So you must be pretty good at it. Is it easy to do? No. What do you Lewis would grow up in England and show interest in a number of sports, including cricket and football. But it would be motor racing that would become his priority. After racing radio control cars as a kid, he would become a racer in 1993 when he got into karting. Although his performances were deserving, Lewis and his father struggled to remain in the sport due to his financial demands. In 1998, the duo would finally catch a break when McLaren's team principal Ron Dennis invited Lewis to join their driver development program. After winning many of its secondary championships, a racing seat at McLaren became available in 2007, following the departure of its drivers Juan Pablo Montoya and Kimi Raikkonen. Montoya had left for the NASCAR series, while Kimi went to McLaren's longtime rivals Ferrari, leaving two seats open for drivers of the team. After much speculation, McLaren would announce two-time champion Fernando Alonso and up-and-coming GP2 champion Lewis Hamilton as their drivers for the 2007 season. What was expected to be a season of slow ripening for Lewis turned out to be the exact opposite. In what would become one of the most memorable seasons in motor racing history, Lewis would immediately challenge Fernando's status as a leading driver making it to the podium a record nine times and by the closing stages of the season he was leading the championship. Naturally, tensions boiled over between Lewis and Fernando, who was also in contention for the championship throughout the season. It was clear that the pair could not have a working relationship and it would be Fernando who would leave McLaren at the close of the season. After a run of bad luck coupled with lack of unity within McLaren, both Lewis and Alonso ended up losing the championship to Ferrari's Kimi Raikkonen. Lewis would vindicate himself the following season by winning the Drivers' Championship. He doesn't make it easy for himself, does he? Lewis Hamilton is the world champion. And by doing so, becoming the first black F1 champion. He continues to dominate racing today and has already become an all-time great, having equaled Michael Schumacher's record in 2020 with his seventh championship. 
The rivalry between him and Alonso has also watered down, with the pair opening accepting of each other now. He would receive his knighthood in 2020 for his services to motorsport, undoubtedly a hint of the many accolades he will receive after he retires. <laughs>